Hi, this is Claire Westwood from the Pilates Firm. Today we're going to do a quick 20 minutes on the reformer, uh, 10 minutes on each side, using the Pilates jump board, which can add a cardio component to your work, but we're going to focus on using the jump board to really get into the abs, the obliques and the rectus muscle. You'll need a ball that's big enough to kind of wedge in between the shoulder rest to the front of the shoulder rest, so not down in between. If you don't have a ball that's quite the right size, you can roll up a pillow and put it there. Whatever would help to support your bottom rib cage so that you're not jamming yourself into that. So let's begin by allowing your bottom rib cage, which for me is the left, to rest into the ball. My left elbow is going to come right underneath the shoulder. Legs tuck in, bum is scooched back. Top leg, which is my right foot, comes on the jump board from the ankle joint, just begin to jump. So you wanna make sure you don't jam into the joints here. I forgot to mention my spring load right now is one medium and one light, with for the, which for the Marathew would be a blue and a white. If I were on a peak Pilates reformer, I would probably have one yellow on or possibly two blues. You wanna feel like this is a little bit of an effort so that we warm the legs and hips up. For the jump board, you don't want a lot of spring. You want to have enough that you feel you're working the legs, but the less spring you have, you have to stabilize more through your core. So sometimes we're looking for hardly any spring at all. For the next set of 10, now that we've warmed up, let's just do a lift lower and down. Lift lower and down, working into the medius and minimus, always pulling up from the bottom rib cage so we don't want to sink. The momentum of the push will make you want to do that, so that is an active effort with each jump. Good, two more. Last one. On the next one, plant your foot. I'm going to have to smidge and down a little bit. I want to take my hand on the pad to support it, lengthen the top leg, toes and knees forward. Top hand comes behind the head. Small, little sit ups. Just taking the right rib to the right hip. Chin up so you keep the cervical spine in line with everything else. Five more here. Four, you might have to organize yourself on the ball so it's not crunching into the girls. Good, bend the knee and come in. On the next one, do an external rotation of the leg. Come back onto the forearm and you're going to just jump from there. The hip is a little bit open, not completely, but just a little bit. Still working from the ankle joint, and I want you to focus on feeling the back portion of the leg for this. Good, five more. Four, long leg on the jump. Three, two, one. Now plant the foot in, still externally rotated. Scoot yourself a little forward so that the ball is resting on the back portion of the rib cage. Lengthen the leg that's on the jump board. Hands support the head. Pelvic tilt from there, just a small crunch as if you're gonna come up off the ball and come towards the jump board. So you begin by preparing with a little pelvic tilt to get the top hip, which is for me my right, towards the rib. And then the crunch just kind of finishes that little meeting by taking the rib to the hip. For the next set of 10, same motion, but a small little twist towards the right. So up, turn, and down. Little micro motions of power, very deep into the obliques. I know you can feel it. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good, bend the leg, come up and take the light spring off. So if you had a peak Pilates yellow, you're gonna to go to a blue. For us, we'll just remain on one blue. And then come back to the forearm, little less spring, think more, wrap your top hand around your waist, think more of lifting up from the waist and feeling yourself have to support through the core, almost like you wrapped a belt around your waist. Four more. Three, two, one. Another set of the lift lower, up, down, 
So you have a little more time in midair when you come to a lighter spring to get a big lift and lower, getting the leg right in line with the hip again when you land. Let's do a few more of those. And then on the next one, our upper body will be quiet, but we're gonna kick the leg back. So a little bit of an opportunity to open the front hip flexor and working into the glute and into the QL muscle in the back, which some people call the muffin top. Spare tire, depends on I guess, where you come from in the country. Two more. Last one. But on this spring load, we're not going to do the standing into the jump board ab work because the foot will slip. We're just gonna tuck again and come to the point where our bottom rib cage is touching. Definitely support the head, looking towards the jump board, just jump from there. Now, as you're jumping, the momentum wants to kick you back. So I want you to think of just doing a small little crunch forward. It's really not gonna be something that anyone who's walking by can see. You might not even be able to see me doing it, but I'm countering the jump boards need to kind of throw me back. So you want to keep it forward. So four more. And we're going to add a little something. Three. Still jumping from the ankle joint. Up the leg. Two. One. And the next set of eight. We're going to come up. Kick. Mid there. Toes to the ceiling if you can. So the rib stays towards the hip. The lift of the leg helps the hip bone come towards the ribs. Three more there. Two, one. Very good. Come in and organize yourself so that the ball is between your shoulder blades. You support the head. Both feet come on the jump board. We're going to start with just little hops. And the reason for that is I want you to right away feel how this is going to go right into the abs. It's going to want you to arch your back. You have to say nay, nay to that. Now a little bit more. Keep the legs more lifted on these jumps. Don't let them lower to the level of kind of your hips because that's gonna to be too much on the abs. Again, I'm countering the jumps energy of pushing me back by doing a little crunch up. up. This is very abdominal, hard to talk through it. I get extra credit for talking through it. Two more. Last one. Good. Let yourself stretch it out. Big inhale. Big exhale. Good. And then lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Come up and add that white spring back on again. So if you were on a peak Pilates, you'd go back to the yellow spring. Stand into the jump board with both feet. Pelvic tilt. So you're going to do a little tuck and then release the tuck little tuck. So upper body stays quiet. All I'm doing here is wheeling my pelvis. Two more. You can be in Pilates stance here or parallel, whatever you prefer. On the next one, keep the tuck and then it's just a little crunch up. Almost like I wanted to sit up off the ball, but I didn't. You can support your head or reach forward. The more you come up, think about the abs coming in. So willfully suck it in. Don't just Stand up and kind of see what happens. Two more. Last one. Keep the left foot planted. Keep the left hand behind the head. Take the right hand down to the side. On the next set, as you come up, I want you to twist over to the right knee that's bending in. So little rotation to the right as the knee comes in. Eight more. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right foot plants, left hand down, right hand behind the head, up and over. So on this, sometimes I have to remind myself, it's not just over, it's up, it's both. Six more. Pull it in and crunch. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. 
Good, both legs plant, both hands support the head. Open up, just give yourself a nice, well-deserved stretch before we come to the other side. Big inhale and exhale. Good, then support the head as you lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Draw the carriage back home. Sit up, turn around, and do the other side, which means you're just going to rewind the video and do the other side. That way you guys don't have to stare at my back and bum while I replicate that entire workout. Thanks for joining me. Hope you got a little cardio lift. Definitely, I know you got some ab work.